But the point is that motion pictures can go from fact to fiction. And across that wide spectrum, you can have all sorts of political influence. What political theories do you promote? Which ones do you denigrate? Which political facts do you choose to present in the nightly news or in the documentaries? Right? What kind of uh, political uh, opinions do you allow to be expressed with favor or do you treat with disdain? What sort of fiction do you provide? Do you make movies about the Nazis in which the Nazis are good people or in which they're uniformly bad people? Right? All of that is going to have some effect on the viewing public. Whether the viewing public is looking at this and saying, well, that's a fact that's being presented to me, or whether it's simply a fantasy in the sense of you know, motion picture not based on fact, and the characterizations that are brought forward. The good guys have particular political viewpoints. The bad guys have the opposite. And in the long run, inundation of the public with particular viewpoints, whether presented as fact, opinion, or in some kind of you know, fictional mode, are going to have long-term effects. And usually effects in the direction of moving people in, in, towards favoring those ideas that are being emphasized. Because the average person is not going to be looking at the opposite. He goes and he looks at the nightly news, and the news tells him, these are the facts about what's going on in Syria or Turkey or Bulgaria or whatever the country may be. Is he going to go himself and research those questions to determine whether that's true, or is he going to accept it? Especially when he sees it day after day, night after night, week after week, because some of these things go on for a long period of time. And the same thing with uh, fictional presentations. If the fictional presentations that he sees on uh, television, for instance, about the war on terror, all take a particularly favorable attitude towards the Department of Homeland Security, towards the National Security Administration, uh, surveilling everyone in the world, and so forth and so on. What is the impression that will be left in the mind of that viewer? Will be one favorable to those activities, obviously. Very few people look at that and say, well, I mean, there's something wrong with that. I have to research that more to determine whether that's someone's trying to play games with my mind. And as a consequence of it, uh, the media are great instruments for bad as well as for good. Right? They, can pr they can promote things such as the Bill of Rights and they can promote things such as comprehensive surveillance by the National Security Administration. And generally in the last couple of decades they have been moving away from promoting the Bill of Rights towards promoting surveillance for one reason or another. 